We'll always be bosom buddies, friends, sisters, and pals. We'll always be bosom buddies. If life should reject you, there's me to protect you. If I say that your tongue is vicious, if I call you uncouth, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will sit down and tell you the truth? Well, hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. Mm. And as you already know, welcome to Naughty or Nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, the Naughty. Oh, wait a minute. Can't see my movies. <laughs> <laughs> the world uh. must be able to see my movies. <laughs> I am the <laughs> Naughty Alexis Flame. And my lovely co-hostess, Tony Homeperm. I'm the I'm the nice. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm on very good authority. I had one of our guests this evening can at times be very naughty. Uh, that's true. That's very true. One of my sons. Go figure. I know, right? <laughs> Imagine Alexis Flame having naughty children. I, I, it can't possibly be. It can't possibly. I know. <laughs> I mean, that would just be absurd. It, it, it's, it's unheard of. <laughs> well, something like that. Uh. All righty then. Huh. Okay. That's too bright. So, Tony, how was <sighs> this week, my dear? I'm hanging I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. It's been it's been, you know, it's Oh been... wait, I'm hanging out. Let me <laughs> 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 Oh, this has been quite a week. It's been a last couple of weeks, Halloween. I know, right? And, and what and what a great Halloween show we had! I tell you, we had some technical difficulties, but it, we all had a good time. But as far as trick or treaters, girl, we had all kinds of eye candy. We did. <laughs> we served it. We had my fabulous son Bryce Stephen Adonis and his troop, the Men of Eden. Yes. <laughs> Who actually had a newcomer that uh, I'll eventually sink my fangs into. A newcomer. Oh. A newcomer. Interesting. Tony. Turn of phrase. <laughs> I hear you had a brief visit this evening from your older, more sophisticated sister. Yes. <laughs> Alexis home perm. <laughs> shame, shame she couldn't stick around. I know. I believe she had. I believe that the lighting wasn't complimenting her hair very well. No. <laughs> oh, wait till I get around to perfecting her. <laughs> uh, better dig out those I Love Lucy dresses. <laughs> or not. <laughs> On that note, it is now that time. I guess. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are in the room. Uh, uh, go ahead, boys. Shake up the boys. Uh, so our guest tonight, mm -hmm. uh, my son Andre Fabian. Yes. A model, an actor, a director, an artist, an entrepreneur. I dare say a 21st century Renaissance man. Yes. I would agree so, with that. Why don't we not waste any more time? And bring on my boys. Let's bring on your boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello, Hello. Where are my boys? There they are. No, they're You're not here. here. I don't you, see them. You don't see them? No, I do not see them. I, I don't know here. why. I, see the boys. I, I can see them. Let me, let me, what if I go like this? No, and they better not be pulling something like you did on Halloween. <laughs> no, because I can see them. This is a problem. I can't. I don't know why not. 
<laughs> we see you. Boy, do we see you. How could you not see me? Can you you can hear them though? Yes, but I want to see them. I well, I know, but I don't understand why you don't see them. Wait, let me let me remove myself for a sec. Bye. Now I see them. You see us, Alexis? Now I can see you. All right. I was about to say Tony will have Here to go. go. <laughs> can you can see my boobs? Everyone can see my boobs. Everyone can see them. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. So Rios, Lester, Andres, Lester, how are you? Good. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. And you both look handsome as ever. Yes, they do. And, yes, you. and thank you for appearing with us tonight. Thank you for having us. So and once again, I'm here. Yes. Well, you were so nice last time, Lester. <laughs> I know. I'm the nice one. <laughs> well, and Rios is my son. So yes, you're, my, well, you're my son, too. <laughs> But, well, the gene, you know, there can be a variation of genes. <laughs> and there's that. But uh, I'm relying on you to be a little more naughty tonight, Lester. I hope so. Oh, Come on. you were too nice last Sometimes time. Sometimes you just oh, don't. Oh, no. All right. Tony will give me some lessons. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Come on, Lester. I I'm listening to Alexis on my phone because she's froze on my screen. Uh, oh, there you are. Go ahead, Lester. Say it. Say. Oh. Say. Oh. My, <laughs> my virgin ears. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I, Tony, close your ears. Oh, uh, I, I can't you. listen. Oh, I love it. I can't listen. <laughs> I can't. That's my theatrical voice. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, which sounds a lot like an old drag queen I know out in Queens. Alexa, <laughs> he's not as nice as you think he is. Or Tony, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, I know he's naughty in public. He just has an image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One has to maintain. <laughs> he's a children's author. <laughs> he has I to be know, good. That's, but that's for another show. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, okay. Now, now Alexis froze. I'm the time over here. Yeah, well, there's a what time delay. I don't. I don't know what happened. You now, froze on our screen. Okay, now, Tony's back. I don't know what's going on with the with the internet tonight. It's very, it's very, it's very flaky. I, I don't, I don't know what the problem is. So, well, at least, at least she froze with a smile on her face. <laughs> oh yeah, and the fan uh, oh, uh, for you too. <laughs> yeah, for, she's frozen for me too. So I don't know what happened. Oh, we lost her completely. Oh no! Oh no! We can't lose Alexis. Oh, well, she'll uh, be found. Don't worry, she'll she, be found. She, she'll she'll return. I'm just gonna have. Uh, well, welcome to nice. <laughs> All right, we'll play. Naughty. Okay, yeah. well, you have to you have to fill in for the naughty part for the moment. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, where's okay? Oh yeah. There you How go. Bad. Can you see them? They popping out. We see them. <laughs> we see them. They're and I didn't shave out. yet. <laughs> oh, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, Le Lester, she's I bad? no, she's not bad. I, I wanted to, uh, you know, I I, yeah, I, I, oh, I thank you on stars. Facebook, Lester, but I want I, I wanted you. to say um okay. You want to wait, be naughty or you want me to be naughty? We'll do the wait, show. Wait. Oh, what happened? Oh, you are oh, back I, now. Oh, did I? Oh, I froze? You oh, froze. yeah. Oh, yeah. my Lord. We were deciding whether he should be naughty and I should be nice since you froze too, you know. Yeah, it's it's anybody's guess at, at this point. I'm I I have no I, I I just don't know. I just don't know. I think or, it's Facebook. I don't think it's the internet. Quite honestly, I think it's either it's either the internet or Facebook or both. I'm, yeah. I'm I mean I've been having all kinds of like funny things going on with Facebook since they changed to the new format. 
Um, you know, I had a very, um, yesterday, um, YouTube, um, kind of went out. I don't know if, if you oh, experienced I, that, but a, a lot of people. Yeah, they, had, they made an announcement about that. What, oh, the, um, oh, what did they year? say? Yesterday? Yeah, but yesterday was raining. That's why probably there was a lot of Netflix that were having problems also. Yeah, well, it's been raining yeah. here too. Yeah. Is Tony first on your phone? Yeah, too? Tony. Yeah, Tony's talking. Okay. I'm following the, our conversations on the phone because you were first uh, on my screen. Oh, there you uh, are. Oh, Lord. I don't know. Be a phone show. <laughs> I don't want it to be. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to her. I mean, we've had this happen before. Like she froze, and then you know she she, she, came, she, back she, she like, came right back. So I don't know what's going on. I hope her. I hope her internet didn't go down. I'm trying to see if. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's where in the world is Alexis Flame? <laughs> it's, the, it's the new Where's Waldo game. Uh, yeah, exactly. So you know what? I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna text her. I'm gonna text her. So Alexis, where are you? <laughs> Alexis, text her. Do come that. back. Come back. Come back, Alexis. <laughs> yeah. Get on that broom and get here. Uh, Lester, I was trying to say before, I wanted to thank you for sending me the, the copy of uh, your book, the, the new book. You're welcome. Did you have a chance to read it yet? I have, have not had a chance to read it yet. I'm sorry. All right, we'll have Frank read it first. Uh, I've, just, I've just been like, it, everything has been so, so crazy. But uh, but I did want to thank. I did get to. I did you know. I did leave through it. It's a beautiful book. I have to. Thank I have you. to say. So, congrat congratulations on yeah, on we'll, that. We'll show it to the audience again, just in case you know anyone is interested. It's a, a military memoir, and it's called "Through the Eyes of a PFC, mm -hmm. 1942 to 1945," and it recounts um, well the life of actually my father. From right. training all the way through the battlefields of, in um, Italy. So it, it's a very interesting behind the scenes. It's not really talking about the battles. It's right. more about life. Yes. You know, where, where, where did they bathe? What did they eat? Um, you know, just the normal things of life. So mm -hmm. it, people are finding it interesting. Mm -hmm. I got a note from a lady in Luxembourg. Oh. she Yeah, she's in her, her late 80s, and her daughter um, actually sent her the, the book. Mm -hmm. She thought she would, she would enjoy it, you know, having lived through the war years, and she thought it was a very interesting recap of the time frame. Oh, I think Alexis is back. Oh, yeah. good. Welcome back, Alexis. Oh, there she is. Hello. And I can see everybody. Yeah, I had a glitch. I had to reboot. Okay. All right. As long as you're back, we just were... I, I was just thanking Lester for sending us a, a copy of, of the book. Oh, yes, Lester. Thank you so much, sweetie. You're welcome. You're welcome. Enjoy it. You know, and pass the information on to everyone. So, you know, we can spread the word. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> So, how was everybody's Halloween? Ours was uh, wonderful. I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it was it was a Halloween, but it wasn't really. I mean, nobody came to the door for candy. I mean, it was hard to celebrate. Well, for me. <laughs> I'm wondering what spirits Christmas will bring, because Halloween. I, would, I got a visit from my long lost sister. Yes, you did. That bitch should have stayed. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that Tony Flame. Oh, what a troublemaker she is. She really is. <laughs> and, and, and she's a husband stealer, isn't she? 
Fortunately, I already ass raped the estate before she got her claws into it. <laughs> By the time uh, she stole my husband, but I got the money before she made the seed. So wherever they are, they should stay there together. Oh, <laughs> uh, my goodness. I wonder if we'll, see, if we'll ever see her again, though. Oh, I have the sneaking suspicion we might. <laughs> I've run out of husbands for her to steal, so she's probably going to try to hit me up for money now. <laughs> I don't know who stole Who stole your husband? I... My younger, thinner sister, Tony, knows her. Oh. Tony, Tony Flame. You have to see that. Oh, that one. That one. Wow, yes, that, that one. Bitch. Yes, that oh, one. Yeah. Yeah, she she was something. I saw her. That's okay. Little does yeah. she know. I think her fang was sharper than yours. <laughs> no, never came. Oh, oh no, excuse me. That was her tongue. <laughs> that, no. That's okay. Little does she know. I've installed UV light in her coffin. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, She's gonna find out very shortly. Uh, that her new coffin bears an awfully close resemblance to a tanning bed. <laughs> so now, uh, back to uh, tonight's topic. Mm -hmm. I hear that during the filming of I Still Remember, I hear during one photo shoot there was a very bossy drag queen. Oh, huh? yeah, she was something. <laughs> Mayor B. But I mean, she was a, a Mayor B, but I have to say, she gave me a piece of advice five years ago that I took with me and I stored it in my back of my brain. <laughs> and it came to life this week, like two weeks ago, actually. And I will always be grateful and thankful because uh -huh. part of the film is because of her. So thank you very much, whoever that B is. And, and, and those of that you who B should have out. like a little dedication in that scene. True. But it would like mess up the film, so we didn't put it in. Yeah. Well, but all the same. Uh, and in case nobody picked up the when you in the window yet, that bossy drag queen has a raspy voice and long, sharp teeth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I and I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. And I have the scars on my wrist to prove it too about the teeth. <laughs> yeah, Rio, where are your scars again? <laughs> so um, I don't know. Did you want to know anything about me? I bit you a few places. <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, but no, I considered it quite a privilege and quite a treat to actually be part of this heart-wrenching story. Now, why don't you tell us and our viewers how you and uh, Andres, why don't you tell us and our viewers <laughs> how you and Lester came together and came to create uh, this project? Okay, well, Lester and I, we know each other for mm, many years ago. I don't want to say how long, but a long time ago. And um, I started modeling, I started, you know, involving myself with the art uh, circle. That's how I met Lester. And then one of our projects, actually, uh, I guess one of the first ones was a, a one that I got him an award at Salma Gandhi. And it was me modeling for him, and it's called Despair. It's a very uh, sad story behind that. But that's how we started collaborating together. And um, so it's been about 12 years of collaboration. At least. Yeah, about 12 years of collaborating in the photography. I know, I have a day. In stories. Um, I will show you a little bit. Um, you know, we like travels. And um, Lester happens to create this book from Cuba. Uh, way before, way back, I want to show you something that you, Alexis, might actually uh, like and relate. I don't know if you can see this yeah, image over here. I think... Can you see it? 
Oh, oh yes. She's a, she's a root worker. Sorry. She's a voodoo woman. Yes. Yeah. Oh. This night. And then making cigars. Huh? Oh. And then the Santeria, Santeria Priestess. I'm very mm -hmm. familiar with Santeria and with root workers. Yes. So we started, as you know, with the travels and with the photography. And one of our third projects was this sexy and hot that Alexis and Tony would actually pretty much enjoy. I would show it to them. It's a, it's a very hot uh, book. It, it's called Manography. Oh, mm. wow. Yeah, oh, wow. Now, Rios, I want to ask you, you said you modeled. By Wait, I, I do model. You, I lost you. Never modeled but me. I want to show you. I'm in this book. That's why I want to bring the book up. And there he is. Ah. Ah. Raise the is, Oh, oh whoa. 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 There it is. Whoa. Whoa. There it is. Now, Rios, have you ever modeled? in the nude of course um i did i won't tell you the name of the magazine but actually i have a funny story to tell you actually i have that but i'm not gonna show <laughs> oh yes you do yes no oh, we'll be in facebook jail but yes no I do. <laughs> no not in jail no <laughs> oh, no 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 so, so for you to be familiar with this book that alessa has nobody knows about that book you know that um, I'll tell you a funny story quickly. I did the magazine. I asked my son, do you mind if I pose for this magazine? I was a you know, poor model, and I was just like begging for money to eat, right? So he says, oh, yeah, I don't care. Do the magazine. So I go, do the magazine, and when the magazine comes out, he says to me, well, I want a copy of the magazine. I said, no, you cannot have a copy. He said, well, I'm an adult already. Can I have a copy? I just wanted to have it as a, you know, a memory. So I said, oh, okay. So I sent it to him. Now, a month after, he got married. And before the wedding, of course, I went to his wedding and everybody knew me. And I couldn't figure out how everybody all of a sudden knew me so well. And then I find out that everyone who knew me the wedding he shows the magazine that I was totally naked. So I, I was so embarrassed. I was like, I was supposed to be so a no Everybody knows what your no-no parts look like. Right. <laughs> I, as a father, I was trying to be a role model. That didn't work out too this well. This time, Rios, come on. Every time we see pictures you, of you at the beach or on a boat, mm. I'm like, five will get you 10. He had to put his clothes back on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, as I'm getting older now that I'm 50, I'm going to have to be careful with not showing myself anymore in public because, you know, just to be a little bit more on the, like, uh, sophisticated. Yeah, sophisticated and elegant side. Huh? Oh, no. No. I mean, I mean, he's going to be a world renowned director. I know. Oh, I have to have right. some decor right now. That but I tell you something, and I'm going to show you something. Modeling with Lester, I'm going to continue with modeling with Lester. I went from the cowboy, so you know what, how, how long it took me to get here. I went from cowboy to the next episode of Lester's um, book. Show my picture in the back. Okay. In the back. It's, I called, that. it's called Perception of Christ. And uh -huh. look who we have. Oh. oh, that's a beautiful photo. Yes, That's a beautiful picture of Rios. Yes, yeah, and and look and look at the emotion, the genuine, the innocence, the purity. Yes, uh, so, like I said, Andres Fabian is a very gifted actor. Well, <laughs> I have to change, you know, with the years because Lester. There he is again. Mm -hmm. Taken down from the cross. And those photos are very, not only explicit, but expressive. Mm. And, and, and it's a beautiful uh, art artwork, we will call it. So working with Lester through the many years have got me to change my perspective and, you know, uh, ideas about art. So 
I changed from being a model and from being a subject of photography to creating a project that involved other people. And one of my first projects that involved uh, a lot of people, it was the Word of Hope, which um, that's me. That's Rios as the warrior. Mm -hmm. The idea was the warrior of hope was giving hope to people um, you know, who were either sick or social um, injustice. So we created. Go ahead. So we created. Now we're starting from photo simple photography to creating um, some uh, project that is a little bit more involving other people, but also that it have a little bit more meaning to it. I suppose social just significance. having a naked body because I am sick of watching my own body naked <laughs> everywhere. So, so the, the rest of us like seeing your body naked. Well, I, I'm, what? The rest of us. No, she froze. You froze. froze. Tony, what? what did she say? She said the rest of us like seeing your body naked. Okay. <laughs> no wonder she froze. <laughs> well, you know, um, I still show my body once in a while. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to if I want to capture some fish out there. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm still single. <laughs> but um, so so going with the significance of creating projects that it was more uh, into our society and how it affects things in society affect people. We created a project, me and Lester again. Is called invisible, and invisible. It was about people who feels invisible in society. That's and, Rios on the cover, mm -hmm. lifting the veil of invisibility, being the voice of people. Oh, and, um, now where have I seen him in that outfit before? Um, <laughs> well, yes, you saw a similar outfit uh, a few years ago. You wore that very outfit as my escort for the Night of a Thousand Gals. Yes. Now, I was very blessed uh, to be... I cannot hear Alexis. It's just close again. I don't know what's happening. I'm moving. If, and now you I know, are really? also, Tony. I don't know. Would I just keep I, talking over here, perhaps? I don't so, know what's happening on their end. But I, I I Alexis, can't... you're not freezing for me. I see you now. I can hear you. Now, okay, you're both on. I was very fortunate to be in a segment of I Still Remember that was called Just Another Night. Gentlemen, what I would like you to do for our viewers is explain how I Still Remember came to be. And please tell us of the journey that I Still Remember takes you on. Because there's a lot of heartfelt moments and a lot of moments that a lot of people might find to be quite fucked up. Yes. Well, um, here's here's a, uh, the segment that you were in. I still remember. Oh, there's oh, Miss Alexis. Strawberry blonde in the foreground. Miss Alexis. She's got great legs. <laughs> <laughs> You know, to be honest, the, the the concept, I don't know why, the concept of, I still remember, again, taking my transition from photography and being a model to doing something that is meaningful and that it talks about uh, social issues that affects everybody else. I personally, I didn't leave the era of the HIV here. I didn't know anyone who was HIV. But I heard so many stories of people talking about their loved ones, um, that they died from HIV in the 80s and 90s. And for some reason, it came to mind that I wanted to honor those people that people don't remember any longer and don't want even to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's a subject that is kind of taboo, like, oh, where is your husband? Well, he died from HIV. But not really, nobody really wants to say that to somebody else. So we keep like our, our life like more like, hidden and, and, and secretive because almost it's like a chain to say that somebody died from HIV. Um, even today. Yeah, even today. It's still a so, stigma attached. Yeah, so when I found that I had so many people throughout my many years in New York City that they, they felt like a, a strong connection with their loved ones even now, but nobody really recognized that and nobody really would like give them 
uh, a remembrance and, and the honor that they deserve, I came up with this concept of honoring everyone who died and passed from HIV or HIV related causes. Um, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Um, my last job, I was a social worker many years ago. In my last job, I learned so much about patients with HIV because I was a case manager for HIV patients and homeless and drug users and alcoholics. So you so, came for a while exclusively, exclusively with PWA. Yes, I have done about 15 years of social work in New York City. So the, the fact of now I can do social work in a, in a more beautiful and enticing way is, is what got me here from my years of experience working in the social work services. Yeah. All right, now, Rio, yes. can you explain to us the, uh, now, now that we know your, your, your history, your background, now can you explain for us like a brief narration of the actual journey that I still remember takes its audience. Okay, I'm losing you, but I'm gonna listen to you. Oh, can, can you tell us about, you know, specifically about the film? How, you know, it, the actual it, Okay, so Sorry. the film became from the book idea that I didn't know what to do with it. At that point, I, I photographed, well, let's say photograph the okay. film. Can we the, the book, just yes. a moment? The, the one thing that we have to uh, bear in mind while the story I still remember is about AIDS and the pandemic era, it's also a universal story. It's a universal story of love, loss, and remembrance. Mm -hmm. So that, when you take that universal story now from a photo narrative, and now we take it in the next step and make it more visual of the remembrance and now real well i think <laughs> thank, yeah, thank you i think uh we five years ago we did the story in a very photographic way so people can read well, it cinematic cinematic, right? yeah. Yeah. It's cinematic. Been five years now i lost you again alexis um, i didn't hear you it's Tony, been can you tell me what you said yeah. it's been five years right it's been five years this year since we originated since we the original the concept, project yeah. in, in a cin cinematographic way. And then this year, for some reason, I said, you know what? I always want to create an actual film so people can be moved and people can be more enticed to like the story and to feel more, you know, like involved with the characters. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, as you know, Scott Reynolds, uh, yeah. Of, yeah, Scott Reynolds, uh, he was the original uh, uh, character in the story. So when I presented the story to him about my dream of having that as a film for actually this year's worst eight uh, programs, uh, he was like very delighted. He was like, sure, let's do the movie. Um, my original concept was to create a story with a younger version of us, but it didn't work out because we couldn't find the right fit we find somebody who looks like him, but not somebody who looks like me younger. And we decided to do it ourselves. Yes, I like that. I was about to say, I might have been in a position to help you with that. But just to digress for a moment, can you boys hear? Oh, Alexis, I keep losing you. The boys are frozen too. I lost Alexis. <laughs> and the boys are frozen. All right, Tony, you're going to have to translate. Oh, my Lord. Esther chose a um, I don't word. know what she's saying. Damn it. Okay, ask them if they plan on doing it, and AIDS was a pandemic. Uh, I don't know if they can hear me yet, but I, I can hear you. you. Let's just use the word pandemic to describe yes. the AIDS situation, and it was indeed just that. But the word pandemic, in the near future, will you gentlemen actually be doing something that covers the pandemic that we're facing now? Well, you know, with us, you never know. Um, as you know, we've been traveling throughout the pandemic over here to different close states and, you know, in New York City, upstate. And if there is a difference, actually, and it's funny because I have filmed for the Press of the show, as you know, I am a correspondent for the show. 
And um, during the pandemic, he did not want to go outside to film anything or to, to be in contact with people. And I was the one doing all the filming. I was the one throwing myself out there safely. But I experienced a lot of difference between New York City, New York State, uh, even Pennsylvania. I traveled to Pennsylvania. I uh, recently went to uh, North Carolina. I went to Virginia. So there is a difference in the way of life. There's a difference in the way that people protect themselves. If a difference, uh, even in the rules and regulations, like the restaurants, the places that you go to, like some places you go immediately, the moment you go in, you have to sign a paper, put your information, they take your temperature, but it's not everywhere. So you never know, it will be something to consider in the future. Sure. Now, boy, time does fly. We're almost out of time. So okay. Well, well we, we have a little clip. So, oh, oh yes, right. So, so um, we see the clip, Tony. Yes, uh, 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 Rios. Do you need to set it up? Just tell. Is there anything you need to tell us about the clip? All right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show the clip. So everybody, hold you, tight. Um... <laughs> hold tight. We're gonna we're gonna show the clip for I still remember. Okay. Okay. Great. Wow. And that was an unfinished clip. Uh -huh. Without any words, that said a lot. Yeah. All right. Yeah. As, we, as we draw to a close, I would like you to tell our viewers a little bit about your gallery and, and once again, and how people can obtain and or view, I still remember, and then how we can find people on social media. And they didn't hear me. So I did hear you. So very quickly, La V Gallery is now closed because of the pandemic. So for mm -hmm. safety reasons, we only do online. So you can go to lavigallery.com and contact us. Let's say I have a very important message, which is that um, the, the movie premiere is going to be December 1st at it's World AIDS Day program at the New Haven Pride Center. Um, they're going to be doing a, a premiere showing. Of, I still remember. It'll be a Zoom presentation. Go online and sign up, and they'll send you the Zoom uh, connection. It'll be at 12 noon on December 1st. Then at 3 o'clock, they have both Rios and, unfortunately, me again. Um, <laughs> to talk about the film um, that, um, I mean, we encourage people to sign up, see the film. We saw the finished clip tonight. And I mean, we filmed it, we wrote it. And yet, I want to emotionally it yeah. affected me. Yeah. Oh, sure. um, so I think it's, it's very worthwhile seeing for people of all ages. And also, um, New Haven Pride Center. Yes, also, just to keep in mind, the procedures of the book, of any of the photograph that it goes along with the project there. The, so if someone is interested in any of the photograph or any of the books, 
that um, we have related to it. I still remember the 10% goes to the center. To the Pride Center. So, and uh, if so here, you can go on Alexis, the photograph. <laughs> LaVeeGallery.com, and the information is on there. I'll take a picture of me. Half naked, not completely naked, but I'm there. We love to be naked. I will need an autograph for whoever buys this one particularly. I would put an like, autograph for them. But um, yeah, so we are celebrating tonight because we saw the whole film and it's actually very, very emotional. Um, just so you know, uh, the particular film is dedicated to the memory of a friend of Lester passed from you know, the HIV. Uh, Blue Petronio and everyone that perished from the ravages of the disease, plus all of the long-term survivors. We have to, you know, dedicate the film to them also. Yes. I agree. And I have to say before you cut me off, I have to thank so many people that were so hard on this project, but I have to give a big shout out other than Lester, oh, I had to I had to really say Preston Lopez from the Preston Lopez show did an amazing, incredible work. Oh, editing. I and Scott Reynolds, adult entertainment, Scott Reynolds, he's such a sweetheart. He did so amazing. We he love so that, right? Yes, you do. <laughs> um, he was a sweetheart. I tell you, uh, when people meet Scott Reynolds, they're like, oh my God, he's so serious. And I'm like, he is oh, a. No, he <laughs> He's also a very engaging and endearing man. And yeah. if you him a few minutes, he can be funny as hell. Yes, yeah, he is. But this is something that people um, at first don't see it of him. But I, I just want to say thank you and thank you, Tony. And thank oh, you're you so welcome. For your support. Yes. Before we you. let you go, you mentioned Preston Lopez, who's also sexy as hell. Yes. Rios, you have been doing a lot of co-hosting. For yes. Preston. I have even appeared on Preston's show. Yes, yes. so is Tony. Tony appeared in a little clip for the um gay pride. Remember Tony? Yes, I asked yes. you for the clip. Yes. Um, I don't know if Tony can hear me. Yes. But yes, she um, can hear. we can't see her. <laughs> I I I can I can see you now. I, I know both of you have been like a very little on the show. I would love to have you big time on the show. Um, we would love to. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, uh, whenever is possible. It, unfortunately, I mean, we have to do a zooming thing, unless you guys are more comfortable doing it in person. But yes, I would love to have you on, on my segment for the Press and Lopez show. Definitely. We have to support each other. Together. Now, boys, before you leave us, yes. Uh, how do we find each of you on social media, starting with you, Rio? Well, I'm on Instagram as Andres Fabian because I have many names. <laughs> Andres Fabian one. Um, on Facebook, many, many Andres... names, but little clothes. I know. <laughs> well, actually, he's got a whole lot of clothes. He oh, just today I put a lot of clothes for you. I, he I just have... doesn't wear them. <laughs> but, um, so Andres Fabian one on Instagram. On uh, Facebook is Andres Fabian. On uh, Twitter is the Word of Hope. And you can even find me on LinkedIn uh, with my real name, Vladimir Rios. And Lester, your turn. Mine is much easier. I have one name. So, <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, it's Lester Blum. On LinkedIn, it's Lester Blum. On uh, Twitter, it's Lester underscore Blum. And also, the website is lesterblumphotography.com. And also, La Vie Gallery, excuse me, yes, lavigallery.com. And I want to say something before we go. Uh, we're doing this time, I know there's been a very difficult year for a lot, a lot of people. And perhaps the next few months is going to be even worse because they don't know how the pandemic is going to take place or the numbers, etc. So let's stay focused on what we need to do to stay safe and to keep the ones we love safe. Well yes. said. Andres Fabian, known to me as Rios, Lester Blum, my handsome and worldly sons, 
thank you so much for being our guest this evening. Thank you, thank you for having us. And we look forward to meeting up on social media again. Yes. I love you both very much. Mwah. Thank Mwah. you so much for having us. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Well, that was very informative. That was. And that like was. I said, Tony, all of my sons are handsome. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are indeed. Probably sons. Oh. oh. My daughters are pretty too, but I favor my sons. <laughs> yes. Yes. Your, your sister's not bad looking either. Yeah, but if she, you know, all she's going to do now is get a man by, for, of her own. A man of her own. But I, I have to warn you. Yes, warn me, please. What a bitch my sister is. <laughs> she told all of social media during the Halloween show that she's sleeping with my wig stylist. <laughs> my husband? <laughs> yes. Fake I told you she's a fucking floozy. Fake news. Fake <laughs> news. <laughs> I don't buy it. I told her to be careful because Tony Holmburn is sleeping with my wig stylist too. <laughs> <laughs> but see, she knows uh, pounds that one. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't tell you. You look rather lovely this evening. Pretty. Thank you. Big. Thank you. So, so do you. This was, this was, this was, a, this was a quick beat tonight. You want to talk about quick beats? <laughs> I, I, my, not my quick beats can never beat your quick beats. I know that. <laughs> Girl, this is a fifteen-minute face. Beauty takes time, and tonight mm -hmm. I felt like I was in a hurry. <laughs> so, anyway, I didn't uh, realize, though, our hair colors complement each other. Yes, they do. Beauty and pink go well together. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. They absolutely do. So, anyway, folks, on behalf of the nice Tony Holmperm and myself, the naughty Alexis Blade, I want to thank you again for tuning in. And I want to thank once again my sons and Tony and my dear friends, Andre Fabian and Lester Blum for joining us. Absolutely. And before we go, Tony, mm -hmm. who is your next, come this, this uh, week from today, who is your next great guest on Talking Tony? Oh, well, someone who uh, you also uh, uh, are, are friends with and, 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 love um our good friend ashley jade we love ashley jade we need yes. to have her on this show too yes absolutely Those of you who don't know <clears throat> ashley jade is a disgustingly young thin and pretty little thing which is why we shouldn't have her on the show <laughs> and i'll be sure to call into talking tony with that <laughs> Didn't we, didn't we make an agreement? We said, no more of these queens that are younger, thinner, and prettier. <laughs> and then she goes and has one on her personal show. I know. You, you, you know? You who don't know, <laughs> Ashley Jade is the founder and CEO of Chaotic Cosmetics. Yes, I'm she very is. I'm proud to call her my niece. Mm -hmm. And Tony and I are working on a... Uh, few very special things for the upcoming <clears throat> holidays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially Christmas. Yes. The bitch actually conned me into singing live. So <laughs> make sure you have your earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I have auto-tune. <laughs> oh, well, hey, with auto-tune you can make a bullfrog sound like Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just make sure my sister Tony Flame doesn't get into your house while you're doing it. I know, right? <laughs> and also, mm. you can look for yours truly, <laughs> the Banshee with the Boobies, <laughs> on an upcoming episode of Pand Pandemic Cooking with Wendy. I can't wait to see that one. Starring not only myself, mm -hmm. But I should plug our lovely hostess too. Yeah. Fabulous Wendy Stewart. Yes. So be on the lookout for that. And once again, we just want to thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank you, everyone. And until then.
Naughty Nightmare. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> you're so nice. And you're so naughty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Good night. Good night, everyone.